Good morning, everybody. Thanks, thanks for being out here in the wonderful sunshine um, of December to uh, celebrate and unveil the new Henry J. Dragster. Uh, really, I've said enough, right? No, but I, I do have some talking points, just a few. Uh, this whole journey together with the Brooks family started actually 20 years, 28 years ago. You guys started racing 30 years ago in the original Henry J. And Kayser has been a proud member of the Brooks family and the Brooks family has been a proud member of the Kayser family for all this time. So now we're here, um, you know, to make a big change. And uh, this is the second big change in the car in those 28 years or in 30 years, sorry. Um, we're gonna unveil the new Henry J that uh, holding true to Kayser's delivery times uh, took two years to produce. <laughs> But uh, after 16 years with the old car, I think the time was right. So Jeff, Jamie, and the whole Jeb 4 racing family have been superb ambassadors for Kayser, and we really want to thank them for representing us so professionally over the years and congratulate them on their success. So join us in celebrating the redesigned dragster that's gonna compete in the super gas division. Damn, it used to be the super gas division. <laughs> Top sportsman division, so that shows you how much I know about drag racing. So thank you very much, guys, and I, I give you the driver, the star, Mr. Jeff Brooks. Thanks, Frank. Uh, my brother Jamie over here, we're tangled up. We did that for you, Eva. So this is Jamie. He's uh, the crew chief for the team. So a couple of thanks to uh, Frank Kaiser. Michael, Eva, the entire Kayser organization. Hopefully they're looking all over the uh, world right now and seeing us, you know, all the Kayser associates. Y'all have been awesome uh, the last uh, 30 years. Uh, we get a lot of notes from you and got to go to Germany and, and meet Mr. Kayser and all that. So I really appreciate everything that, that the Kayser team's done for us. The new car, Jerry Pickle built the new car. It's off of the original mold that Terry Hall, who designed for us uh, a number of years ago in the other car. So some folks I want to thank, and I, I don't want to miss anybody, but from Jerry Bickle, these are the folks that tuned and, and cut and, and fabricated the stuff on the car. So Don, Bud, Mike, Steve, Chris, Gabe, Tyler, Austin, Troy, Colby, Dan, and the entire Jerry Bickle race car team. All those folks uh, worked uh, two years uh, building this car. Um, some other thanks, uh, Mark Kirkman from Kirkman Composites, uh, he did the body, so the carbon fiber body you'll see here, Mark Kirkman did. Jeff uh, Hoskins did the paint job, and you'll be very impressed when you see the paint job. We've got Sonny Leonard motor in it, uh, we've got uh, Weaver Transmissions, is the transmission uh, underneath of it, and uh, the headers was done by Robbie at uh, Outlaw Headers, and I know I'm going to miss somebody, but I don't think I have, but uh, Yep, cone, cone uh, torque converters. Uh, shocks are from Mark Smith uh, uh, Racing Suspensions, Mark Smith Suspensions. Uh, he does a lot of tuning for us on our suspension. He does all of our shock work. So the neatest thing about this car, though, that I am so proud of is there's three folks that were inter 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 I can't say it, instrumental into doing this car, and that was Jerry Bickle Race Cars, Kayser co Customer. Sunny Leonard Racing Engines, Kayser customer. And we get ready to pull the cover off this beautiful paint job, Kayser customer, Jeff Hoskins, Kayser customer. So here we go, Frank, let's do it. Seven hundred and sixty two cubic inch um Sonny Leonard uh we call it a shimmy, it's a it's a hemi motor, uh made off of a Chevrolet block and uh makes uh, with the nitrous and everything about twenty eight hundred horsepower. Wow. <laughs> Anybody wanna hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Now race cars sometimes they don't act right, so we hope it's gonna act right. Yeah. 